Love you. <laughs> Hi, Lola. Hi, Anne. How are you? It's good to see you. You having a good night? I've been loving your um, husband's videos. He's so funny. Hi, Yvette. Hi, Sue. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Sheila. Oh, you were notified. That's great. Hi, Happy Elf. How are you? Hi, Lori. Your favorite night of the week. Thank you. Hi, Lene. How are you? Kids went back to school today. It was glorious. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. Hi, Kay. I know. It's Monday night already, but the kids went back to school. Did you go back to school, Kay? Were you sad? Hi, Amber. How are you? Yeah, there's Milo. Uh, Luce, or, uh, Lola is down here. She's actually about to pounce, I think. Oh, there she goes. Um, in tomorrow's video, you will see both of the cats on the bed. I know you guys like when that happens. They were both, um, I just finished filming a video and then I just changed into my comfy clothes. Hey cat. Hey Lois. Hey Kristen. Hi from Washington State. I'm so glad it's your first live. Welcome. So glad that you're here. You had an in-service day. Oh, you have kids tomorrow. Okay, that makes sense. Hi, Sarah. <sighs> Natasha, I, I'm, I'm not saying your name right. We had this whole tutorial last week, and now I forgot how to say it again. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> I remember it, it sounded so pretty the way you spelled it. I'm sorry. Oh, you had two days of school last week. Okay. Oh, Tammy, you're so nice. Thank you. I'm just literally in my comfy clothes. These are, um, these are like sleep pants that I got at the end of summer from Old Navy and this t-shirt just goes with them. So I actually had a fall, like a pumpkin spice is my favorite t-shirt or my favorite season t-shirt on. I was like, maybe I should change that. <laughs> Thank you, Happy Elf. Are you talking about this? Is it Tasia? Did I say that right? Ugh, I don't know if I'm finding. I'm sorry. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Oh, Happy Elf. Are you talking about a specific video? Hi, Kay. Oh, your vacation zen has already faded. I know. I was ready to jump back in, and we had like... Um, Oh, I said it right the first time? Okay. Hold on. Is it Natasha? Or is it Natasha? Ah, I wish I had voice. I could hear your voice. Okay. Um, what were we going to say? Oh, but we had a ton of appointments today, and so I didn't get a lot done, and then I have appointments tomorrow because my husband was just like, oh, the kids get back to school. We can get all this stuff done. And I was like, no, I need to get my life together. <laughs> I'm glad you remembered the live too, Sarah. Oh, the YouTube video. Oh, good. I'm glad. Hey, Chris. How are you? Chef Wannabe's in the house. Hi, Alex. Hi, GC. I'm so glad you made the live. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Lori. All right. The second one I said was right. Okay. Hi, Laura. Back to school for you today. 
Hi from Michigan. <laughs> Natasia. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm sorry. I don't remember what I said the second time. Hey, Veronica. I love you. I'm just going to, I'm going to give you another name, Natasia. I'm going to give you, I'm going to call you Nye. No, you might not like that. <laughs> Do you have a nickname? <laughs> if I give you a nickname, it's it's because I love you. Um, okay. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Michigan. Oh, we got lots of Michigan girls in the house. Hey, Lois. How are you guys? Hi, Karen. Yes, Milo's on the bed. Lo uh, Lola is kind of roaming around. Lucy's downstairs with my son. I just was in his room and she was laying with him. Um, Tosh is my nickname. Oh, good. I can say that. <laughs> I love it. Hi, Michelle. Panama City in the house. Hi, Sue. Hi, Donna from Northwest Florida, Florida girl. I'm a Florida girl too. You need some people to rep in Nebraska. Um, Miranda's from Nebraska. We'll see if she comes in a little bit later. Oh, Katie is your nickname. You're actually Karen. Okay, that's good to know. Hi, Kathy. Here in West Virginia. I was actually born in Virginia. Not West. I know it's two different states. <laughs> oh, you got a big snowstorm. Okay. Man, it is so warm here. I keep wearing sweaters and sweating my butt off because I'm so <laughs> ready. <laughs> Hi, Bryn B. I only like no snow or cancel school snow. Yeah, I like cancel snow school snow too. If we get any snow, it's pretty much canceled. And I live here in Georgia. Our county is huge and it extends up north into Georgia it's kind of weird and so we will get nothing but the northern part of the county will get stuff and the whole county's closed so it's it's kind of nice that our county's so big but I don't think I don't think we had a snow day last year I don't know if we'll get one this year we're supposed to have rain but I don't I think it's going to stay warm what's everyone having for dinner Yvette said I literally had cheese and like summer sausage. <laughs> I'm eating the leftovers of the um, like Christmas appetizer food. I pretty much told the kids that it was fin for yourself night. That's awful when they went back to school, but <clears throat> they got back from school and then my trunk club hit the front porch and they were sort of zombies. They were like, I gotta get my homework done. And then they wanted to like go play video games and stuff. So I filmed that and then I had an hour between that and my live. And so I was like, does anybody want anything for dinner? And they were like, nope. I'm like, well, you have to eat dinner. And at this point you have to fend for yourself. There was tons of food. And so, well, who knows what they had. I hear stuff going on in the kitchen though, downstairs. <laughs> You're eating pizza. warm here in Texas yeah hey Heather how are you grilled cheese and tomato soup I actually offered my son a grilled cheese and he turned it down yeah we're having it such a mild winter I'm kind of ready for just some cold um, and I don't like the cold I grew up in Florida but I'm just ready for a little bit Ooh, chicken parmesan and garlic bread that sounds really good. I'm working on my meal plan for the month, and that one is definitely on there. I saw Catherine's plate. Does anybody follow her? She made a chicken parmesan meatloaf today on her channel, and I was like, I'm adding that to my meal plan because it looked – I didn't watch the video. I just saw it on Instagram, and it looked so good, so I got to go back and watch the video, but I'm definitely going to try that. Salmon burgers and tater tots, yum. Anything with tater tots makes me super happy. <laughs> Oh, Powder Springs, yeah. Central Texas. Oh, snow, so, snow forecast for next week. No cold, no cold, no cold. <laughs> Crunchy chicken pasta and green beans. That sounds good.
you had Qdoba. I had Qdoba for the first time when we went. Isn't that where we went, event That last day when we were in Nashville? I think we ate Qdoba. I'd never eaten there before. Um, hi, Tiffany. Got the boys down for bed. How Was it their first day back at school? You lived in Columbus, Georgia. Okay, I love it. saying their their winters are kind of oh you had a pb and j sandwich that sounds good actually last night i haven't done this in forever but my husband left the peanut butter out on the counter and before i went to bed i like had just like a the tip of a spoonful of peanut butter i was like that is good <laughs> hi cindy why how are you hi brie chicken enchiladas i used to make chicken enchilada like a casserole I was thinking about that the other day. I don't know where the recipe went or what cookbook it came from. I definitely want to make that again. Um, I grew up in Orlando. Yes, in like Orlando proper. Leftover meatloaf, that sounds good. Made roast beef, baked potatoes, and asparagus. Oh, my family loves some asparagus. Hi, Catherine, how are you? Oh, I think we had, I think it was Qdoba. Tiffany, do you remember that last night, that last day as we were all leaving? Oh no, you had already left. Never mind. I think it was Qdoba. Um, you got three inches of snow, so there'll be no school tomorrow. So your kids went back to school for one day and then, oh no, it's a snow day. <laughs> Tacos, I like it. Hey, Kathy. Yeah, I can do a meal plan video. I was actually going to do like a whole planner, like a plan for a month with my planner and meal plans. So it's all going to be one video. I'm actually going to try and film that tomorrow. I am in a weird place right now. I ordered, like I canceled a ton of boxes. I was down to like hardly any boxes. Even the boxes that I was getting for free, I was telling them I didn't want them anymore because I felt like, um, I don't know, I, I was kind of feeling bored. And so I have like, I think I counted like 10 new boxes coming, but nothing's coming yet so i'm in this like weird time of like having to like figure out content for my channel so if you're seeing a lot of lifestyle videos that is the reason it's just simply because i don't have any boxes right now so there is going to be i'm trying to like catch up on all the all the videos that you guys have requested my next most popular request is the planner video and then how to um do a Poshmark. So those videos will be coming this week, but um, I promise, I promise, stick with me. The boxes are coming. I just am waiting. I told Yvette today, I'm like, if I could, cause they're all going to come. I'm going to have, they're all going to come in one day. Probably. I bet you 20 boxes are going to hit my doorstep. And I told my friend Yvette, I'm like, if I complain about it, you could come through and smack me <laughs> because right now I'm complaining that there aren't any boxes. <laughs> It just takes longer to do lifestyle videos, basically. Anyway, that was a long path. Um, all that to say, yes, I will do a meal plan video. I'll tell you what we're eating. It's not really hard because um, somebody else was saying, I can't, I can't meal plan. I think it was Kay. I can barely meal plan for a week, much less a month, but it's not, it's not really hard. Um, hello from Chicago. Oh, hi, Denise. I don't know why I said Chicago. <laughs> Hi, Amy. You lived in Augusta, Georgia for about a year. I don't, I don't think I've ever been to Augusta, believe it or not. Got lots of snow today, Catherine. I love you, Tiffany. You're getting hungry now. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys this question because I know a lot of you have suffered with migraines. So I've had migraines the past few days. Mine are just hormonal. It's totally fine. But I started taking a prescription for it. it. Makes me feel a little bit loopy, but for some reason, I am so hungry, and specifically, I want carbs after I take it. <laughs> That's not one of the side effects, <laughs> but I like crave like I want like fried or carbs or something. Do any of you guys have that when you take migraine medicine? <laughs> just wanting, just interested to know if it was just a weird me thing or what. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it, but like, I just want like bagel bites and a chai latte, or I want like chicken fingers. I want something not, not necessarily healthy, like carbs or grease. 
Weird, right? It's almost like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. I'll eat. Oh, okay. Thanks, Peggy. That would be great. Oh, you liked my beauty favorites? Good, good. That was one I had, I like pulled out of the back of my head. I was like, what video can I do today? <laughs> I do have a few, a few videos coming. I just haven't had time to film. Because like I said, this morning when the kids went, we had a bunch of errands and appointments to run and then we have some tomorrow. So that's really my biggest issue is finding time. I try not to film like I did tonight um, when my kids are home. Face full of sub box makeup, yes. <laughs> You've been watching a lot of food and it just makes you hungry. I know, that chicken parmesan meatloaf, I've been thinking about that all day long, just from the picture on Instagram. So I totally get what you're saying and that's going on my meal plan. I gotta look and see what all is in there. What are your top five boxes that you won't stop getting? Hmm, BoxyCharm, Pop Sugar. Mm. That's hard. Those are my top two, BoxyCharm and Pop Sugar. Um, probably FabFitFun. I think they've, I thought they were good for a while and then they like weren't so good and now I feel like they're better. Um, I, I do like quarterly boxes, so. Gosh, I can't even think because a lot of the boxes that I said that I loved are boxes that I've let go. <laughs> like my rocks boxes on hold. Um, I love Trunk Club. I love Natalie Attired. Probably those two. Um, yeah, I would say those are. So BoxyCharm. What did I say? BoxyCharm, FabFitFun, Pop Sugar, Natalie Attired, Trunk Club. Um... Oh, for snack boxes. There's a snack box coming. A new one. Um, I visited Helen, Georgia. Tammy, I love Helen, Georgia. And I actually like to scrapbook. And I used to go to the scrapbooking retreat um, every year in Helen, Georgia. It was so fun in January. I haven't been for a few years. And then we go tubing in the summer in Helen, Georgia. So fun. So if you don't know, if you've never heard of Helen, Georgia, it's like a... I'm gonna do this, German town. <laughs> and it's it all looks like German buildings and they have like little German restaurants, but it's really like a touristy place and they have this really great river that runs through it that you can tube in in the summer. It's a total tourist place, but they have this great lodge. Uh, um, part of it is in like a national park and it's really gorgeous. It's kind of cheesy. I like cheesy touristy places. Like I grew up in Orlando the land of the cheesy tourists. When we went on our honeymoon, we went to Paris and my husband was like, I'm not climbing the Eiffel Tower. And I was like, uh, yes, you are. <laughs> We're total opposites in that way. Um, hi, Leanne. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I went to the bottom. Hold on. I, I'm gonna go really fast because I'm behind. So hang on. Oh crud, I am really far behind. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Crud. Yes, I am. I have been selling on Poshmark. I'm putting some more up. Like my closet, I started trying on stuff today and I was like, don't like this, don't like this, don't like this. I've been getting rid of so much on Poshmark and y'all have been so good. I have like a thousand people following me. I don't even know how that's possible, but um, it's been fun. I've been doing these mystery makeup boxes too and those like go really fast. So those are really fun. I've been kind of just having fun playing with it. I've sold a few like household stuff. It's been fun. Um, oh, and you don't get snow days, Catherine. No, because you're in, are you in Canada? I think you're not in Canada, but I always, I always think you're in Canada. Tell me where you're from, Catherine. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, Sarah, how are you? You crave carbs, carbs as soon as your eyes open. Oh, the migraine medicine makes you sick. Hey, Miranda, how are you? Okay, I'm gonna go really quick. 
I don't think it is Bryn because it's specifically right after I take that medicine. It's not, and um, because usually that time of the month, I, I don't usually eat chocolate, but that time of the month I do. But after I take that medicine, I specifically want like carbs or, it's, it's very weird. I feel sick to my stomach for a little bit and then I want <laughs> like bread, I don't know. You always need carbs after a migraine, okay. Hi Mike, how are you, are you new? If you are, welcome, I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, it's hard to get all your Poshmark stuff loaded. That makes sense. Do you do it straight from the app? I find it's just easier from the app. I didn't use the app the first time, but now I find you have that button that just says automatically take a picture, and that's how I do mine. I could go on trip on all the carbs. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany's Quilting Life. How are you? Are you new? No, I recognize your picture. Are you? I know you, I feel like. Are you new? Am I just guessing that? Okay. You just follow the Smitten Kitchen on Instagram. Hmm, I'll have to check those out. Oh, Natalie Attired's here. Oh gosh, I'm really glad that I said Natalie Attired was one of my top favorite boxes now. They really are though, like that's true. I actually said that on my Instagram this week that that box would always be on my channel. <laughs> Everybody is loving my natural sweater with the black heart. That was like a favorite. I think you're gonna get lots of requests for that. Um, is this Kim? Are you on? Hi. Yeah, there are some common and uncommon side effects. There are for sure. I just wondered if that ever happened to anybody else. I didn't get Boxy Charm or Pop Sugar. What makes this your top two? Pop Sugar's always been my favorite. I It used to be a monthly box. It's a lifestyle box. Lifestyle boxes are probably my favorite to open like quarterly ones because you get like, you may get a piece of makeup or you may get like a hat or a scarf or a pair of gloves or I don't know, you may get a candle, you may get something for your kitchen, you may get a, you know, it's just a bunch of stuff. And so Pop Sugar has always just been my favorite. I like the mix up. Pop Sugar also usually puts in good snacks in their box, which is a must for, for me. I'm all about snacks. Um, and I just think Poxy Charm is pretty consistent. You get five full size products for $25. I don't think you can beat that. And sometimes I haven't heard of the products and sometimes I have, but I, I do use most of the items in there. So that's why I like both of those. Um, hi, Mary, how are you? Oh, Dot Box. Okay, wait, I gotta switch one out now because I forgot about Dot Box. I'm gonna take out Trunk Club and put in Dot Box because I do love Dot Box. That one's a really good one. <clears throat> yes. I actually get that one in PR, and if they ever told me that I couldn't get it in PR anymore, I think I would, cry. I think I would cry to be honest with you, because I do, I do love that one. Um, you know what though? I really like the introverted chick too. Ah, now I can't like narrow it to five. <laughs> now my head is moving. Oh, now everybody's saying dot box. Yes, you're right. You're right. You guys know that I love dot box. What new boxes are coming? Um, do I have my notebook here? I have a notebook with everything in it. Off the top of my head, I don't remember. And some of them I wanna be a surprise. So stay tuned, stay tuned. But there are some good ones. Y'all, please tell me, cause right now I am like, loading up on the boxes so if there's a box that you want me to do let me know now is the time to do it because i'm i'm mixing it all up um you're waiting for an introverted chick box i don't think they've shipped yet <clears throat> i know natalie it does i love it i love it hi susie oh your walmart box video that's a good one i love that little five dollar walmart box Hi, B. Your mom sells on Poshmark. I know a lot of people do. Is it Macari? Um, I haven't tried that one. I'm pretty happy with Poshmark. I just, I just had a lot of stuff in my closet that was kind of sitting. 
Um, I feel like from when I first started doing YouTube to now my style has changed. It's just evolved a little bit. And so, um, I, I don't know. And I haven't been reaching for cardigans. So there's a bunch of cardigans actually going up on the Poshmark either tonight or tomorrow. It's probably going to be tomorrow. Um, I'm just ready to like clean out my closet and start again a little bit. Ottawa Senators. My pastor is a Canadiens fan and um, he, they're rivals with the Boston Bruins who of course my son loves. So I love it. They have my pastor and my son sort of have this like rivalry. <laughs> my pastor's from Canada and grew up playing hockey. You like the prices that I put on Poshmark? Oh good, oh good, yeah. Oh, Kitty's here. Hey Kitty, how are you doing? We're so glad that you're here. I have to ask you. Okay, so I watch your Instagram stories. I always see this really cute couple. Are, is that your parents that you're um, taking pictures with on Instagram? Because they're so cute. And I always wonder if that's if those are like friends or if they're your parents or what. I'm just being nosy if you don't mind. But I figure if you put it on Instagram, it's probably okay to ask, right? Um, that's your problem you need to set realistic prices i will say i try to set the prices pretty good if something's sitting for a long time i will mark it down like a dollar or two but i don't negotiate sometimes people will just automatically offer me something i decline it 99 percent of the time i've counter offered once and the person didn't take it and then i was happy because the next day somebody bought the item at full price so um i get that's a part of it but i i don't usually play that game i'm like you either want it or you don't <laughs> I did see Natalie Attard is in the house, Tiffany. Don't we love that? I, is it Kim? Kim, is it you that's here? Somebody is just starting to follow me on Poshmark. Is that one of you guys? <laughs> if you want to follow me on Poshmark, it's I Love Hockey 615. <laughs> I used to be your size and bought from your Poshmark, and then Christmas happened. Girlfriend, Christmas happened to me too. Cinnamon is at an all time high right now. She she got to go. I will say I tried on a pair, well I'm gonna, I'll give you a hint as to something that was in my box for tomorrow. Um, I tried on a pair of good American jeans. Those things suck you in. I mean, there was no sign of cinnamon. I suddenly see the hype of those jeans, but they're like way overpriced. Um, Yeah, I am gonna do a how to sell on Poshmark video. That's coming up in a planner video this week. Um, and I will add in the meal planning. I'm glad that you guys are open because I feel like I'm doing so many lifestyle videos. I don't wanna turn away my box girls. I promise they're coming. You're really interested in Natalie Attire? Go for it. You have to go for it. It's a great company and you will really, really like them. Probably, Tiffany, I bet that's true. I bet that's true. That's probably how I know you because your name sounds so familiar. Well, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Ah! Yvette always says, I want all Christie's clothes from Natalie. Oh, it's Kim. Hey, Kim. Uh-oh, I dropped down to the bottom. Hold on. Okay. You're going to a Red Wings game on Friday. How fun. I like all hockey. I just root for any team, but my son is um, definitely a Bruins fan. And my my goal is went to one day make enough money where I can actually take my son to Canada. I would actually like one day to be able to like just travel with my son like one or two years where we go to like a hockey game in like every city. I know that seems extra, but I just think that would be the best mother son trip. Like not all together. Like maybe we go to like two or three games a month or something or one or two games a month. I don't know, but that's like a goal of mine. And he's like, yeah, 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 let's do it. <laughs> Brie, I'm not doing deco crated. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not. Um, I did I've done it before, um, but I probably won't have it back on my channel again. That's a personal reason. <laughs> so if you but if you see another decorating box, let me know. Um, what's in Dotbox? So Dotbox is a 
box that's self-care and you can get it with period supplies or without. So if you don't need the period supplies, it's I think $5 cheaper, but like in November, we got an adult sized hand crocheted mermaid blanket. It's gorgeous. Um, they are always so fun. The December box was all like stocking stuffers. She put a stocking in there and it was like, this. It, the stocking was full and the box was full. They always, it's a mother-daughter team. They're actually from here in Georgia and the daughter does the teen box and the mom does the adult box. But they also do like, if you have a daughter or granddaughter or somebody that's having their first period, um, it's just a really, really fun box and they get it they put in like great snacks and just just really fun products so if you haven't tried dot box definitely go look at some of my dot box videos i have playlists for all of the boxes on my channel like if you want to see dot box videos you can just go to my channel georgia sunshine and click there's tabs across the top and it says like videos community tab if you click the playlist I have playlists for everything, like all my clothing boxes, if you wanna see all my Natalie attired, or if you wanna see all the dot boxes, or if you wanna see all the boxy charms, you can just go to town on one box. Like if you're trying to decide, hey, is this box for me, and you wanna see like several unboxings in a row, you can just hit that playlist button and it will play all of that particular video back to back. Um. Oh, you got your 23-year-old daughter the dot box for Christmas? I hope she loved it. She she will love it when she gets it. I think she will love it. Oh, thank you for my thumbs up. Yes, I have done food subscription boxes, and those are coming back. I have a specific different food subscription box that's actually coming this week. Um, and I have done HelloFresh before. Um... I've talked about it before. I don't really love cooking, but I've had so many requests that those will probably come back. Rotisserie is about to come out, you guys. Okay, Milo's going to jump. Thank you, Yvette, for my super chat. <laughs> I still haven't picked the winner from this video. I will do that right after this. I need to go pick the winner. But if you didn't know, this is Rotisserie, and he came from um, the Nifty Thrifty box. My family has had so much stinking fun with this stupid chicken. That's a dollar. <laughs> So thank you, Yvette, <laughs> he, you made <laughs> rotisserie cluck. And Milo didn't even move. Oh, and Lola's back there now. They're both there. Thank you, Yvette. Yes, Tammy, I have been to Helen. I love it there. No, no, not the cardigans. I don't know why I'm just not into cardigans this year. I'm just really not. I'm just ready for new. I wish I was going to the Red Rings game with you. That sounds so fun. Oh, Dallas Stars fan. So is he happy about the Winter Classic? My son went to the Winter Classic last year because it was in Boston. That was his big Christmas present. And they considered going to Dallas this year. It seemed weird that they had it in Dallas because it's the Winter Classic and it's not super cold there. But was he happy? I don't actually know who won the Winter Classic. Was it Dallas or was it? Nashville. I think I was secretly rooting for Nashville. So I, but I don't hear who won. Um, as long as Montreal gets beat. <laughs> That's sort of my sense. <laughs> You're so funny. You get Upbox. That is one that I'm hoping to have on my channel um, later in the spring. I've actually been talking to them. Um, Yeah, check out Dotbox, it's really good. Oh, did Lola perk up? That's Lola back there. She, for some reason, is loving my spot, so every time she I get up, she like goes right there. Hi, Sherilyn, how are you? Hi, Jenny June, how are you? I like cut my finger tonight. I don't know if you can see it. I cut it. Um, this is so bad because I usually open my boxes with scissors like this way. And because um, I don't, I have probably a box cutter somewhere, but I just use scissors and I cut my finger tonight. 
that serves me right. And it started bleeding just now. Um, oh yes, Tiffany and <laughs> Tiffany. Her boy's got a big rotisserie. He's like huge and he's super obnoxious. So she messaged me the other day. She's like, um, our rotisserie's gonna hide really quickly. <laughs> Hi Mayor, how are you? You wanna find some subscription box for skin health. Is there anything you recommend? I recently had a basal cell carcinoma pre-cancer removed. Yes, you may like the, hold on, Love Goodly. Love Goodly was developed by two women. One is a cancer survivor and the other one is a um, vegan. And they were looking for totally um, chemical-free, toxin-free, cruelty-free beauty products that were having a hard time so they made a subscription box and you can find those videos on my channel it's called love goodly um i can't speak to the other ones because i don't know that much about them but that one is really good they also have um a website where you can actually buy things but they do skincare and makeup so you might check that one out <gasps> miranda you you come for the rotisserie <laughs> They're not even moving. Well, Milo's eyes are open and he looks annoyed. <laughs> I need a chicken song, y'all. We need to make up a chicken song for rotisserie. Oh, I once had a chicken who wouldn't lay an egg, so I poured hot water up and down his leg. Oh, the little chicken hollered and the little chicken begged, and the little chicken even laid hard boiled egg. <laughs> That's what you get if you send me a super chat. <laughs> Oh, an LA Kings game. That sounds so fun. That's okay. That's okay, Auntie. <laughs> You're working on a craft project. Are you doing a paper crafting, Sherilyn? I know you love paper crafting. Yeah, sunscreen is your best friend. That is absolutely true. The chicken dance. Oh, the chicken dance would be good, but it doesn't have a song. I'm not chicken dancing for you guys. You had to give me like 50 bucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, Lifestyle of Laura. Hi, Peggy. How are you? Anybody heard of Red Door? That sounds, mm, is there a box? I don't think I've heard of that one. What kind of box is it? I need to get a Band-Aid. Hold on. There's a box of Band-Aids right here. I don't remember what box this came from. I think it might have come from the introverted chick. But aren't these so me? They're band-aids that literally are in the shape of a pineapple. Because y'all know I love some pineapples. Oh, you can't really see. Let me take them out. I think I cut my finger deeper than I thought. Was it Red Door Perfume in the 80s? Oh, you're making a slow glow. That sounds fun. I saw somebody did... It might have been one of you guys on here. I can't remember. Somebody did like a Target dollar spot haul and they had a lot of the red trucks for Valentine's Day. I thought that was so cute. They changed their name to Mind. Okay. Yeah, that sings the Big Butt song. I like big butts when I cannot fly. I'm not going to sing that for you though. <laughs> yeah, so if you go over to a vet's channel, she goes live on Wednesday night. If you give her a super chat, she sings Baby Got Back and she sings all the words and it's pretty darn funny oh thank you yeah i do love this color it's really pretty this t-shirt is from z supply which i love 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 z supply okay see look at the band-aid isn't it cute is this not made for me the pineapple i love it it's not really the the size or the shape for the tip of my finger but that's okay okay um i'm back i'm not as distracted anymore <laughs> A dress shop in Georgia we have a place called the Red Door Playhouse which is a drama like acting place but I haven't heard of the the store your dermatologist yeah um, the Murad stuff is really good a lot of dermatologists recommend that and you can get it um, when it goes on sale in Ulta or when they have their 20% off sale Ah, 
I just realized I walked my dog with a melted Hershey's kiss on your rear. <laughs> That's fine. I know. I got these in a subscription box. Does anybody remember where I got the band-aid, the pineapple band-aids from? Oh, I know. It was fruit for thought. It was fruit for thought. It was their pineapple box. That's where it came from. Now I remember. You have age spots. I do too. I have an age spot right, right here that I want to go to the dermatologist and find out about like what I can do. If I need to do like Retin-A or something like that. Oh, you got Murad at for your son, a three-piece set at TJ Maxx. That's nice to know. Oh, I love Bombay and Cedar. I love that box. Um, I like the essential oils in the Bombay and Cedar box, but I think it has really interesting things like you're not going to find in other boxes. Like, I still haven't done it. It's under here, but <clears throat> I need to pull it out. We got like this macrame like how to make a macrame i think it's a plant holder or we've gotten like little plant kits or we've i don't know it just has interesting things like we got that little tea cup and set um i don't know i like i like bombay and cedar a lot that one probably won't leave my channel i'm on the pr list for that one and um unless they kick me off I think that one will stay around for a little while. Hi, Gina. How are you, girl? Oh, good night, Tasha. Oh, Tosh. Tosh. Good night, Tosh. I'm going to get your name right. I'm going to get your name right. I promise. Oh, my goodness. Um. Oh, Simply Earth. Yes. Yes. That one might be one you see on my channel. Stay tuned. Oh, Red Envelope. I have heard of the Red Envelope. Is that one you are, were thinking? I'm good, Gina. The brand reached out to me. Yeah, I'm really liking essential oils a lot, actually. Um, we use them a lot in our house. I, I There's so much to learn, though. There's some, like, really cool books on Amazon that I would like to get. So what else is going on with you guys? I'm going to announce book club on Friday. I did decide if you weren't on my live last week or didn't see my, what video did I announce that in? Whatever video this week that I announced it in. Um, I will be having a book club coming up this year. I decided to do it quarterly. Um, I will be doing some lives on Instagram, some lives on Facebook. I know not everybody is on Instagram or Facebook, but there will be a dedicated um, chat for the book where I do a live also on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. I haven't picked the book yet. I am going this week. I have to get through my kids starting school and all these appointments and then I'm going to just run to Barnes and Noble and kind of talk to um, the employees there and see what's like the hot book because I want something new that um, you guys most people haven't read yet. Um, Do you use a carrier oil, Miranda? I know you can't put essential oils directly on your skin. You probably know that. Um, yeah, peppermint oil for headaches is the best. I haven't picked out a book for the book club yet, but I will announce that I'm hoping on Friday to have all the information like nailed down for book club. So stay tuned. Yeah, I don't take any baths with peppermint oil. I just do it like if I have a headache, I'll put it like here. I put it up on my temples. Um, yes, peppermint oil. Um, where's that rollerball? I have to tell you guys, one of my subscribers actually sent this to me, but this is the bomb.com. This is from, it's, it's the company is called Beehive Bathhouse. And it's in Alabama. It's a store in Alabama, but this is their headache be gone rollerball looks like this 
and it's a rollerball. It's got peppermint and a couple other essential oils. Y'all, if you have a headache, this stuff, I just put it like right here because it's right under my nose and then I put it like up here. Not, not for a migraine. I'm not saying it's going to take away a migraine, but if you just have a regular run of the mill headache, this stuff is amazing. The Beehive Bathhouse. And I think if you go to the Beehive Bathhouse on, I think if you pull it up, it will come up. But this stuff, I highly, they sent me a bunch of their products. And um, it's this, this particularly rollerball is the bomb. I really highly recommend it. You could probably make it. It says it has peppermint oil. It says sweet almond oil, which is the carrier oil. And a special blend of their proprietary oils, I guess. Peppermint is one of them though. I can smell it. Yeah, eucalyptus for headaches. Okay, I went to the bottom. Hang on. Okay, here we go. I didn't get too far. Yeah, coconut oil is a carrier oil. There's a lot. Um, Yeah, it's really good, Gina. If you're looking for something, just sort of a natural headache remedy, that's nice. I actually wanna um, get another bottle of this, so I have one like I keep in my purse and one here, because sometimes I'm out and about and get a headache. Um, hi, just cause, remind me of your name. I, do, I know your name, but now I can't think of it. I'm so sorry. How are you doing? I'm so glad you're here. I've never done any sort of book club, but I'm excited to see what you choose and may give it a try. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. The first book's gonna be easy breezy um, because I wanna see how it goes um, and kind of work the kinks out. <laughs> and then maybe we'll get into something with a little more substance. Definitely the summer book read will probably be Mary Higgins Clark, or not Mary Higgins Clark, um, Mary Kay Andrews' new book. I think it's called Summer, Summer Something. That will probably be the summer one that we do. Peppermint foot lotion is nice, yes. I take a coated peppermint oil for stomach issues, yes. Yes, the, the nurse at my kid's school would give kids pepper, peppermint, like real peppermint made with peppermint oil when they, has, when they have upset stomachs. Oh, your glasses, that makes sense. I have an oil like that for calming to sleep. Oh, that's nice. I actually, where is it? Is it right here? It's this stuff. No, it's not. I thought it was right here. I might've put it over there. I don't know what box it came from, but I got the best essential oil spray. Here it is, is this it? Yeah, this stuff. Uh, you guys, I don't remember what boxes came in either. This is the Fields of Provence. It's an essential oil mist with lavender, vanilla, and rosemary. You see it? I um, washed all my bedding and I sprayed my sheets down with this. Oh my goodness. This smells amazing. It's not really a linen spray, um, but it, I didn't spray it like enough where the oil would stain my sheets or anything. I just kind of misted it over like my fitted sheet. And then when I put my top sheet on, I misted it. Then I put my um, comforter on, I misted it. And it has lasted for days and days and days. It just, when you get in the bed, it just smells so good. Karen, I knew that. I'm sorry, Karen. Your husband lives and works in Dallas. During the week, the bachelorette just moved it across the street. Isn't that crazy? Shonda, that is way crazy. How cool. I haven't watched any of The Bachelor for a long time. I don't know why. I just sort of got out of it. That is so interesting. 
Yeah, it'll probably be a fiction book, Gina. I will do some nonfiction and stuff later for book club, but the first one I'm probably just gonna do like a really easy breezy one, work out the kinks, figure out what everybody likes, if, there, if more people show up at a Facebook Live or an Instagram Live, but there will be a dedicated video for, like maybe we'll do check-ins on a social media and then we'll do a dedicated book club night where maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll like, I'll theme out a recipe or I don't really know. I have some ideas, um, so just definitely stay tuned you're old Christy no you're not I'm old girl I got my granny glasses they're not sitting here right now they're usually on top of my head but I trust me <laughs> oh the linen spray from groves yes bye Mary you take Ambien <laughs> that'll knock you right out I'm glad you came Mary thank you so much hi Amy how are you Amy have you been on a live before I feel like I haven't seen you on a live before. Welcome. If you have, I apologize. Um, your husband has a fit when I mess with the bed. My husband's pretty easy going with that kind of stuff. Um, did anybody watch Flirty? D no. No, I didn't. Is that the one where like they they're, they learn a dance and then they have to like meet and dance it together and see who has the most chemistry. I didn't read that one, but I, I saw the previews. You guys, I binge watched the morning show. That was so good. I was actually not feeling well yesterday. I had a migraine all day on and off and I watched um, the Aeronauts on Amazon Prime. That was really good. Um, I've been binge watching some stuff here lately. I'm trying to think, I feel like I watched something else. I can't remember. Has anybody seen any like extra good movies? I saw all the Christmas movies I wanted to see. We saw Star Wars. We saw the Jumanji 2, which was so good. Very rarely do I think a sequel is very good. And then Jumanji 2 was great. And so was the, um, the Frozen 2 was really good. I saw that with Emma this week. And then the last one I want to see is Little Women, but Emma didn't want to see it. So I think um, if I can get my life together I think I'm gonna um have a like an afternoon day where I have a popcorn lunch and go see Little Women it is your first time well welcome Amy I'm so glad you're here you got rid of cable Jenny June I'm telling you I said to my husband the other day we have Netflix and that and we have Hulu now we just added Disney Plus I'm like we don't really need cable anymore hi Angie how are you You want to go see Little Women? Has anybody seen it? I feel like last week a couple of people said some people said they liked it and some people said they didn't. Hey, Stephanie, you didn't miss much. What'd you have for dinner? What else did we ask? You guys asked Stephanie all the questions. Tell her what she missed. You didn't miss much. Hey, Clarissa, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Oh, the Hunger Games movies. Yes, we watched all of those. We have not watched The Mandalorian on Disney Plus yet, so we do need to watch that. Oh, your son is Dawson as well. I love it. My son is named after his great-grandfather on my husband's side and his brother and my husband's brother. They were both Kenneth Dawson, and so my, my son is Kenneth Dawson. Do you get a lot of people ask you if your son was named after Dawson's Creek? I'm like, no. I never even watched that show. <laughs> um, oh, Friday's your birthday. This is your last year in your 40s. Go, Tammy. Go, Tammy. I'm right behind you, girl. I, I'll be 49 in June. Um, oh, you went to see Mr. Rogers. Did you like it? I was saying that I just, for some reason, can't get my mind wrapped around Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers. I don't know why. Oh, you liked Little Women? It was it was good? Okay. Oh, I wanted to see Maleficent too, but I missed that one. It's on Prime, but you have to pay for it. And I was like, do I really want to buy it? <laughs> so I haven't decided if I want to do Maleficent yet. You had million dollar spaghetti. What makes it million dollar? It sounds good though. I had I had literally cheese and like summer sausage. <laughs> Um, you watch Gone on Hulu. Has anybody watched You on, um, 
Netflix because I'm tempted to watch it and I'm wondering if it's scary or if it's more suspenseful because I keep like hovering over the like watch button and I can't commit yet. Um, oh, you heard it's different from the book. I've heard that they develop the characters more than they did in the the other movie. It's like they do talk about Joe, but they develop the other sister's characters more. So I don't know. Um, I, I want to see it. You did watch you on Netflix. Tell me about it. Did you like it? Yes, we all want to know, Steph, what's Million Dollar Spaghetti? You made chicken soup. It's not scary. It's good. Okay. Okay. Not worth a million, but delicious. It's like spaghetti layered with... Okay, and then she lost. Okay, tell us what it's layered with. You thought the second season was better than the first. Hi, Kathy Stevens. How are you? You're so sweet. Thank you so much for always being so supportive. All of you for always being so supportive, but Kathy is so sweet. A mixture of... Um, with a cheese mixture like lasagna, but spaghetti. Oh, that sounds really good. I want to um, try... And as I'm cooking, as I'm meal planning, I want to try and do some double batch cooking so I can like fill my freezer. So if like if I make a lasagna, make two that day so one goes in the freezer, I want to try and be better about that. You is great. A suspense thriller where you actually start to root for the bad guy. Okay, I like Pin, Pin Badgley. Um, I really like Gossip Girl. Um, so I just think it'd be interesting. Oh, your page wouldn't load. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm glad you got in. Okay. Okay, you liked it and didn't like scary. Okay, then I'll have to try and watch it. Okay, you loved it. Okay, so that'll be my next binge watch. Thank you for letting me know. I'm glad I asked you. Y'all always have the best stuff. It's cottage cheese, cream cheese, mozzarella cheese layered with spaghetti and meat sauce. Yum. I have never heard of that. That does sound good. Last week, um, we were talking about, somebody said there was cream cheese sausage balls and then I got on Pinterest and they were everywhere <laughs> I forget who told me about them but you also sent me the recipe so thank you oh Lisa Smith's in the house hey Lisa how are you I'm glad you're here I think your computer is oh. oh I'm sorry I know I tried to upload my video for some reason this afternoon in the middle of the day our internet seems to lag I don't know why um so it just could be your internet's being weird. Hi, Melissa. How are you? What you doing tonight, Lisa? What'd you have for dinner? We're getting all these yummy dinner ideas. I'm going to be meal planning um, this week. Yeah, Sasha's about, thank you, Bryn, for sending those. I haven't tried them yet, but as soon as you were talking about them last week, I got on Pinterest or something, and they were, like, everywhere, and then you sent me the recipe, and I was like, I gotta, I gotta make these. I gotta make these. Oh, bye, Heather. I hope you feel better. I'm so sorry you're sick. I'm so sorry. Take your, take your time. Rest. I know you have little kids, so it's hard to rest, but do the best you can. I'm glad you came. Thank you so much for supporting me. French bread pizza, yum. Did you home make it or is it Stouffer's? Because I love some Stouffer's French bread pizza. Oh, the Hutch sisters are here, hello. Okay, so I will I will spill the beans. That's one of the boxes coming on my channel. Um, uh, brown paper packages, I believe. So stay tuned. I'm so excited, you guys, I can't even stand it. Oh my gosh, thank you for coming on. That's so sweet. Sandra's here. Have you guys seen the brown paper packages? I don't know why I'm still playing with this. Um, unboxings? If you haven't, stay tuned because it's coming. Be excited. Do the happy dance. Thank you for coming on, Sandra. We really appreciate it. And um, um, all my Canada ladies, that's a Canada box. I have a lot of girls from Canada that are always looking for Canadian boxes. So I'm really excited because I think so many people are going to love your box. Good night, Amy. I'm so glad you were here. Hi, Rockstar. How are you doing? You made rigatoni. That sounds good. You made homemade French bread pizza because you're so good like that. See, I make the, I make the Stouffer's and you make the homemade. <laughs> I love it. 
Well, I'm so glad that you did. Thank you. You have a Girl Scout leader meeting. I've been there, done that. I love it. Oh, I forgot the olive dip recipe. I will put it at the bottom um, when the video is over. I will go downstairs and get the olive dip recipe. Or actually, you know what? Let me, um, hold on. I ha it's, on, it's in my video. Let me pull up that video. Give me one second. It's in an appetizer video that I did. Uh, let's look up. I can't spell Georgia sunshine tonight. There we go. It's this Band-Aid. <laughs> okay, let's see. Trying to see if I can find it. Okay, I'll look for it and put it at the bottom. I do have a video that's like an appetizer's video. But of course it won't come up. I will put it down below for you though. I promise I will. Ball decor. Okay. It's really good though. I don't know why it's not coming up. I will put it down below for you. So just stay tuned after the video. I gotta go find it. I thought it was on my email, but I looked the other day and I couldn't find it. Ooh, hold on. All right, I gotta get back to you. There we go, okay. Speaking of recipe, I made pizza bites yesterday. I found Mason Woodruff on Instagram. He has great recipes. Okay, good to know. I always like finding new channels. You're going out to dinner tomorrow with your hubby? What you gonna eat? That sounds so good. My husband's not like the best I'm not throwing him under the bus because I'm totally grateful. He's a great husband, but he's not the best gift giver. And he gave me, he gave me like all these gift cards for Christmas. <laughs> but they're all like a lot of restaurant gift cards, but nobody ever wants to go out to dinner with me. And I was like, why did you give me these? Because every time I ask the family, do y'all want to go out to dinner? They're like, no. <laughs> I'm like, why won't anybody go out to dinner with me? <laughs> anyway. Uh, that sounds that sounds rude. I didn't mean to. He always gets me. We had a deal before we got married. He doesn't like Cracker Barrel, and I love Cracker Barrel. So he always gives me a gift card every year to Cracker Barrel, and he agreed to take me before we got married once a year. <laughs> when I go to visit my mom or she comes up here, we always go to Cracker Barrel. I go with other people, but that's one of the ones. Oh, you liked my best of video? Thank you. I was telling them earlier, Lisa, that I'm kind of in between. I, I think there's... um. There's some new boxes coming and they haven't come in yet. So I'm sort of in that awkward time where um, there's just no boxes. And so that's why you're seeing so many lifestyle videos. Some people like them. Um, most people I think like them, but I think everybody's waiting for the boxes to come back. Oh, hey, Jewel, how are you? You made the olive dip this weekend? I'm so glad. I think Maureen, you were the one that said you found the video. It's good, isn't it? I mean, cream cheese and olives, you cannot go wrong. It's so good. Yeah, you'll like it, I think. You'll have to let me know, Lori, what you think. Yeah, the flu is bad right now. We had an appointment today and the lady said to me, I'm not gonna shake your hand because it's the flu season. And I was like, no problem. <laughs> She's like, I was off for two weeks with the kids. And she's like, I don't want it. I'm like, I don't want it either. Didn't didn't offend me at all. Steak Oscar. That sounds so good. We go out to dinner. I get shrimp a lot. So I grew up with grandparents that had a seafood restaurant off the coast of Florida. And I love seafood. And my husband is allergic to, sh <laughs> to shellfish. Um, so that makes it hard. So when we go out to dinner, a lot of times I get seafood and it's so good.
Hubby just got home. Bye, Lori. You would go with me, George. I know you would have at. Well, the problem is it's not that they won't go out with me, but it'd be like one person wants to go out and the other two don't. don't. And my husband is always like, well, if we're going out, we I need to go out as a family. Like he won't leave one kid at home. And I'm like, I don't care if they stay home. Like <laughs> to me, I don't care. If they don't want to go out that time and just want to like hang out at home, I totally get that. But he only wants to go out if all of us are here. And there's always somebody that just doesn't want to go out. It's just, it's just life with teenagers. Oh, good for you, Lisa. Oh, the receptionist at the doctors was so sick. Yeah. Oh, stay home. Don't spread it. My recipe is from um, Southern Living. So I, I wonder if it's the same one, Tiffany. Maybe. It might be. We love the kitty cat on the bed. There's actually two. Milo is the black one. The black one. And then Lola is the white one. And then Lucy's downstairs. I think she's snuggling with my son. Lucy's the mean girl cat, but she loves my son, my 15-year-old son, better than anybody else in the whole wide world. <laughs> oh, you have mom and pop places. Yeah. You love Cracker Barrel, Lisa? Me too. I love their pot roast. I know. Allergic. Your husband doesn't either. I know. I love when the kitties are there. They're always here at this time of night because they eat about six and then they come out and snooze for a little while. Probably when I get off, they'll get up and start like running around and being obnoxious. <laughs> I love to go out to dinner too. I really do. And I didn't mind. I didn't, I 100% did not mind that they got me restaurant gift cards, but I was like, why don't you give me restaurants at all? Like, I don't mind. I'll go to like a restaurant, some restaurants by myself, but they got me like restaurants that I probably wouldn't go to myself by myself. <laughs> anyway, it was totally, it was fine. I was, I'm not mad about it, but I'm just like, if you're going to give me a Christmas present, then you got to take me out. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now I feel like a like a bratty wife, sorry. <laughs> yeah, if you're they're teenagers, it's okay to leave them. That's what I think too. Yeah, yeah, she kind of blends in back there. Lola does. You made your dog a separate pot of soup. No onions and he passed out. I love it. <laughs> Pot roast potatoes, gravy, mac and cheese, and salad. Yum. I like their, um, I get the pot roast, the mashed potatoes, the green beans, the carrots. I love their carrots. And then I always get their um, corn muffins. Oh, their corn muffins are so good. Country ham and biscuits. Yes, I do love some biscuits. I've been craving... Um, my grandmother used to make chicken gravy, like biscuits with chicken gravy. Did you guys ever grow up with that? Because I feel like I don't hear about chicken gravy often, especially for breakfast. But I've been craving that lately. So I'm going to make that. I don't even think I've ever made it for my kids. So I think I want to make biscuits and chicken gravy one, one morning for breakfast. Maybe this weekend. How long have I been married? I've been married for almost 18 years. 18 years in May. Seven, so 17. Oh, their chicken and dumplings. I do like their chicken and dumplings. They changed the recipe in their chicken and dumplings. I haven't had it lately. I used to love it, but then they changed it and it had some kind of like vinegary aftertaste and I didn't like it anymore. So I wonder if they've changed it back because I haven't had their chicken and dumplings in, in a while. You make chicken gravy? I love, I don't know why, but I just thought about it the other day and I'm like, I, I need some chicken gravy. I know, I do have a new cutter. Actually, it's still sitting right here because I've been that lazy putting away my stuff. So here's my biscuit cutter from Miranda. I love it. I pretty much like everything at Cracker Barrel. I'm not a pancake girl. Like when we go, my family, like my daughter usually gets chocolate chip pancakes, but I always get their pot roast. I love it. Or their country fried steak. Now that's a good one too. I've been craving that lately too. All these like southerny foods, I feel like I've been craving. 
I need to get out of that because the uh, poundage is real. <laughs> You make healthy chicken tender soaked in buttermilk and coated with panko breadcrumbs and Romano cheese and salt and pepper, oregano and crushed. Mm, I bet those are good. You must be a bad mom because you prefer. I would go out alone. I totally would go out alone. I think my husband just feels like if we're going to go out and spend money, he wants to do it as a family. I totally get where he's coming from. I don't think he's wrong. But I'm just like, you gave me these gift cards and then every time I say let's go to dinner, everybody says no. It's more the principle of the thing for me. I totally get why he why he wants to do that. I totally get it. I'm not mad about it, but I'm like, then don't give me the gift card. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm gripey. I apologize. Please, guys, forgive me. I'm not I'm not a spoiled brat. I promise I'm not. Oh, their hash brown casserole is really good. <laughs> I have been known to order mashed potatoes and hash brown casserole, but I always feel guilty about it. I'm like. She's like, oh, people do it all the time. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys. It is 9.41. We're going to just go for a few more minutes. If you guys um, want any more boxes on my channel, please let me know. Because like I said, I have um, maybe more disappointed than mad. I think that's it. I'm just like, I want to I use my Christmas present. Yeah, we, I do, we do do girls dates, but like they got me gift cards to places we wouldn't probably do a girls night. We have like the girlfriends in my area, we go to like specific restaurants and I feel like, like we wouldn't go to Cracker Barrel, you know what I mean? <laughs> Order some mac and cheese and dumplings on my alone trip. That's true. Oh, Jade Crate. I'd forgotten about Jade Crate. Okay. You know what? I didn't. He doesn't usually ask me, um, but this year I actually took some notes. <laughs> Y'all are going to laugh. I actually took some notes about things that, like, I just forgot about this Christmas. I don't know why. Hi, Milo. It's coming to life. Um, like, I forgot the Kringle, and my daughter was like, we didn't get Kringle this year. I don't know. Or, like, I ran out of ornament hooks, so I left a note that I needed to get ornament hooks. Or some of our Hallmark batteries needed, or Hallmark ornaments needed some batteries. So I just, like, made a list of things that going into, like, November, I need to remember. <laughs> and I actually put on there, like, <laughs> send him a text with, like, specific items. <laughs> Because I don't actually like that he got me gift cards. That doesn't bother me at all. I actually really like gift cards. Um, but yeah, your girl just wants to eat. I love to eat out. I love to eat out. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I love to eat out. I will eat out just about anywhere. I will. You can even take me to McDonald's and I'll be happy. I love, I don't know why, but I just love it. Good night. Thanks for stopping in. All right, everybody's leaving, so I guess we're gonna leave too. Thank you guys for coming. I really do appreciate it. I will be back next Monday. Stay tuned for Friday because I will definitely um, announce the book club information for those of you who are interested. Hi, Laurie. Did I miss you coming in? I'm so sorry. I didn't see you coming in. Amy, I'm so glad that you came. I hope you'll come back. I go live every Monday night at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, so I hope you'll come back. I try to just stay on for about an hour. Yeah, I really like eating out. I really do. <laughs> it's my favorite. I spend way too much money eating out. That's the problem. Yes, Leo, we'll, we are going to have a quarterly book club on my channel this year, so stay tuned. I'm going to announce the first book on Friday because I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will see you later. Thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good week and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.